Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Joe Howard's Happiness Hacks, where I am interviewing all kinds of amazing people that live in this beautiful world that we inhabit about their views on happiness and asking them to give us their happiness hack. Today, I have the very beautiful Katie Millard with me. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. So, Katie, please may you start just by telling us, obviously I've told everyone your name, but tell us who you are and what you do, please. Right, so I am, uh, I've been a Happiness Club trainer since 2018, which is when I qualified. Um, so I cover Shropshire Heritage in Paris and I go into schools and workplaces to spread the Happiness Club love. Yes. Um, and I'm also a queen <laughs> of training for the Happiness Club. So um, I help you um, kind of induct, get new trainees in to also spread the happiness love. And I'm a mum of one and I have a fairly batty cat and some batty chickens. And um, yeah, that, that's about it, really. And you're also, are you not a hypnotherapist as well? Oh, I am also an advanced hypnotherapist, again, trained by your good self, uh, which I also love. Everything just seems to fit into some beautiful kind of jigsaw puzzle. That is my life. (laughs) So tell me, so obviously you weren't always an advanced hypnotherapist. You weren't always a happiness club trainer. So tell me why, 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 why do you do, why did you choose to do those things? Why do you do them? Um, I've done a lot of different things, like most people throughout their career. I kind of did my degree and then I did a bit of this and I did a bit of that. And I'd kind of go from one thing to another and going, oh, that wasn't quite right. And then I'd look for the next thing. And I had ended up um, working in the countryside services for a um, local authority when I got pregnant with my little girl. I thought, oh, what am I going to do now? Um, I didn't want to do that anymore. So I opened a community interest company. Uh, which is a cafe in our local town, which was called Baby Bird, to kind of be a hub for all those parents who wake up in the morning feeling like, oh my gosh, this is my life. My life is just completely different. Um, and I did that for sort of three or four years, which is where I met you in a roundabout way, Vibe is Mums. Um, and ironically, it stopped making me happy. Um, putting, my little, putting my daughter in morning sort of club and afternoon club and things like that. I just, it just sort of stopped being the thing that I was joyful about. Um, so I kind of wanted to reevaluate that and kind of get my priorities in line. And my childhood was brilliant in many ways, uh, but I had a family member with a mental health issue and it was the eighties. We didn't talk about mental health in the eighties. Like what, you know, what? So I kind of went through my childhood thinking there's something wrong, but not really understanding what was wrong and maybe thinking it was a bit of my fault and et cetera, et cetera. So I went through school doing everything I needed to do, achieving all the stuff I needed to do. But actually inside, a lot of the time I was having like a complete kind of wobble. Um, And then that was kind of exacerbated a little bit, maybe not the right word, when my own daughter was kind of growing up and going into school. So long story short, I closed the uh, CIC and I trained as a happiness club trainer um, because I kind of feel like it's it's just part of me. I feel really, really passionate about it. You know, going into the schools and teaching children things they can use right away to feel better. Um, I think we spent a lot of our time and I probably did that when I'm when I was little. And I think sometimes as adults, we kind of wait to be rescued or wait for the circumstances to change. So you're like, oh, when so-and-so stops doing that at work, or when so-and-so stops doing that thing, then I will feel happier, I will feel better, all that kind of stuff. Um, And actually the kind of happiness club stuff is about self-rescuing techniques that anyone can use. You don't need, you know, like a billion different types of stuff to kind of get it to, to work. It's all really practical and really technical. And that's kind of why I fell in love with it, um, which I am deeply in love with um so that's kind of what I do and again I met um I meet a lot of people who need kind of an extra bit of help and wanted to help them on the on a bit of a deeper level so that's when I trained as a hypnotherapist which I also adore um because it's like magic just it's like you're helping someone find become their authentic self and all those bits sort of falling into place it's like it's like the most amazing magical process um so yeah, so that's why I do what I do. 
awesome. in a nutshell <laughs> awesome. in an absolute nutshell um yeah and that's quite a journey isn't it and and I think that's um from my point of view I think that's invaluable as well because obviously I, what I do was born out of my own experiences and then my wanting to help people who were experiencing the same kind of thing that I had experienced and you mm the same it's that same kind of journey isn't it yeah yeah because um, in part from things that happened to me I remember when my daughter would start coming back from school and she was only little and she'd say oh so and so said this to me or that happened or I felt like this and I was just like oh my gosh there's just there's just so underprepared a lot of the time for you know the school environment and like managing it's not you know about learning your ABCs and stuff it's all that kind of social interaction with ch other children who aren't necessarily part of their family and how they kind of navigate their own way kind of out of this kind of choppy water into somewhere where they can feel kind of like, you know, got a bit of equilibrium. But yeah, it's all, it's all been informed by my own experiences. And um, I use, I use um, happiness club techniques every day uh, myself, which is why when I go into schools or I go into a corporate or something, I say they work and they're science backed, et cetera, et cetera. And I know they work because I use them. I'm not kind of, you know preaching and saying oh well you know but not using them myself like I completely do so that's one of the things I really like when people realize that it's a actionable thing instead of you know you know things that you're like oh it's a bit nebulous I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do that's that's um I think really useful people feel like they're in control and empowered then yeah and that's it isn't it is is realizing that's really powerful it was for me really powerful realizing that there's something you can do to help yourself yeah actually it's just a question of knowing what to do to help yourself isn't it sometimes yeah I mean because you can read a load of like you know I, I quite I, I don't I do enjoy self-help book sort of development book but sometimes I read stuff and I'm like and then what do you do afterwards like what what is that that I'm supposed to do or there's like a billion a billion ways to you know or you got to do this and then that and then this in this order and I'm like oh my goodness and then also the thing I love is um, and I feel really, really strongly about this. I was talking to somebody the other day. Is there's this notion that in order to be mindful or you know have a have better positive mental health, that you need to you know devote yourself to walking up a mountain at dawn to meditate as the sun comes up, which is beautiful if you want to do that. Completely cool, but you know, or you need to go on a retreat, or I mean, and you can do those things definitely. But your well-being is something that we can embed into our day. Um, and it doesn't have to you don't have to be a certain type of person to you know do some proper well-being practices that will make you feel better I think that's one of the things I talk about a lot when I go to networking or whatever is you don't have to go live in a yurt you don't have to you know well you can if you want that's cool but there's things we can do in our normal everyday lives that you know you don't have to take yourself out of it you know to to, to feel better so yeah I, I just love it oh okay so in a nutshell, what does happiness, because this podcast obviously is happiness hacks. So what does happiness mean to you? Um, I was talking about this the other day to a lady I met, and I think happiness, happiness is the sort of the sparks of joy and sunshine in your day. You know, the little, the little beautiful bits of your day when you're like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Or also being mindful as you go about your day. But for me, happiness is that kind of baseline contentment that joy that is just sort of there and it might you know you might have a wobble obviously stuff happens we're all human um but is that kind of inner that inner kind of baseline of kind of happiness and just contentment I, someone said to me oh the other day you're like oh you're very you seem very content and I think content sometimes makes people go like Ugh, I'm not sure if I want to be content I want to be striving and reaching and all these sorts of things and I get that but content, content and that kind of happiness that's just there within you is just so beautiful um, that I think, yeah, so happiness is that kind of internal baseline, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, the sparks of happiness, obviously, like, oh, like, oh, this happens, that happens. But it's just this gorgeous, go it's such a gorgeous, beautiful way to live as well. Once you find it... Um, and kind of cultivate it a bit because sometimes it takes a little bit of like oh actually no I have that already it is the, just the most beautiful way to to live your days yes 
Totally. So on that note, then cultivating it, if you could share your own happiness hack with everyone that is listening or watching, what would what would your happiness hack be? Uh, my happiness hack, there are so many, uh, it's probably quite, uh, quite brief, quite practical, would be to treat yourself. I love treating myself. It took such a long time to do it, particularly after I had my daughter. I think I was probably very good at it before as a parent. And then I was in the thick of kind of newborn toddler kind of going to school. That was, yeah, I don't think I did it then. But treating yourself, and it doesn't have to be the big stuff. We say it can be, you know, it can be a little of, I personally, as you all know, love a coffee. If there's any chance I can have a coffee and a piece of cake or, um, you know, buy myself some flowers or just take myself off sometimes sometimes I'll go exploring and it might even be as far as the garden center because that's how rock and roll my life is but just something just for me um just kind of it just kind of again it kind of tops up that kind of base level of happiness when you're like I'm important too I would like to show myself that I'm important and do nice things for me so then I can be in the best space to help you know, do nice things for other people. Um, so yeah, so treating yourself and I wish people were kind of better at it or didn't beat themselves up when they did it or feel like they can't. Cause that's quite, you know, when people are like, oh, well, I can't do that because of X, Y, and Z. I'm like, well, you completely can. It can be small. And as long as you enjoy it and go, oh, this is lovely, then job done. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. So if people want to find out more about you and what you do, where is the best place for them to find you? Um, I am on the Happiness Club uh, website. Yeah. Um, and I'm also on Facebook as Ke Ka Katie, the Happiness Club trainer. And um, I have a website, which is Katie, uh, the Happiness Trainer .co UK. Um, but yeah, on all the normal social media platforms. Brilliant. Thank you so, so much for coming and chatting <laughs> today and sharing your pearls of wisdom and your beautiful personality um if you would like to know more about katie her contact details will be in the note the show notes uh of the podcast um or you can contact me to find out more joe at the happiness club.co.uk off you pop and have a gorgeous day bye bye